Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Kathy Goforth, and we'd like to welcome you to our all-electric home. The city of San Carlos was participating in the, I think it was called SunShares program. When I heard about that program, I brought up my interest in getting solar again to him and he started looking into it and, and at that point realized that, you know, financially it made sense for us to do it. That it was, was within reach, yeah. Yeah, it was within our reach. We found out that our return on investment would be in about nine years. We're actually ahead. A few years ago, he started saying, well, you know, we should look into getting battery storage because we're not really getting the full use of our solar system. If we're generating excess electricity and we're selling that back to the grid, well, we could be using more of our system, maximizing the value of it if we stored the power and the power wall can run the entire house. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. You don't even know the power of PG&E's off. It was just, it's seamless. So one of the first things that Bayron recommended that we do was upgrade the insulation in our house. And we had cellulose insulation blown in. So it's now R44 value insulation. So this is probably my favorite of the new things that we've got. This is our induction stove. We used to have a gas cooktop and I was a diehard gas cook, um, cooking fan because I love the control that you have with it. But induction gives you as much control none of the fumes, and it's so much easier to clean up. I knew that our water heater was kind of nearing the end of its useful life, so we started planning that we would replace it. Before we could even finish doing our research, our old water heater just started leaking one night, so we had a list ready, and I just called one, and they were able to get a heat pump water heater installed for us the very next day. We're worried about the furnace. I, I just had this feeling the furnace is going to die. I wanted to be ahead of the curve. I wanted to be on top. We figured it maybe had another year or so of life left yeah. in it, so it was time to replace it. Mm. The other things that were on our mind were, you know, when the when the smoke was really bad and it was, you know, 100 degrees outside, to be hunkered down in the house, all closed up, not able to go outside because of the smoke, we wanted to get one that had a really good uh, filter built yeah. into it so that we would have better air quality in the house. That really was important to me. The beauty of a heat pump is in the wintertime, it can heat your house and in the summertime, it can cool your house. So now with a heat pump, we have heating and air conditioning all in one system. And it's just incredibly quiet. Sometimes we're not even sure if it's on. After we replaced the water heater, we saw our, our energy bill go down. From now on, our utility bills are really low. And some people always think, oh, you're gonna use more electricity when you go all electric. Yeah, you will, but the net energy cost is dramatically less because it's so efficient. I mean, it's all win-win all the way around. The more I learned, the more I thought this sounds great. I'd love to be able to get rid of gas, so there's nothing, uh, there's no gas on our property at all. I think some people, when they hear about giving up their gas, they think of making some kind of a sacrifice. It's a liberation, you know? It's, yeah, we're not feeling like we're sacrificing anything. Our house is more comfortable. We love cooking with the induction stove and the cleanup is so much easier. So there's no sacrifice here. When you gotta replace your furnace or your water, hot water heater, step up and do something a little better. <laughs>